After transiting the Panama Canal, we headed to La Playita Marina in Panama City to continue preparing Wanderlust to sail 4,000 miles across the Pacific Ocean. We have quite the list to tackle and we're hoping to set sail in just over a week. We need to install our new anchor, chain, and gypsy, provision and prep food, do some engine maintenance, the remainder of Yoda's tests and treatments, amongst many other jobs. First order of business in Panama City was to receive our shipment of goodies from Miami. Included was our new anchor, lines for running rigging, main halyard and screecher sheets, and other essential items to prepare Wanderlust for the crossing. It's another Christmas. Christmas in March. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Fab? Oh, we, we're selling the uh, our Delta anchor. Somebody's coming to pick it up this morning, so I gotta get it off uh, boat. And we have Fernando here to help us today, which is awesome. Everybody fits in that hole but me. We also sold the chain, so that needed to come out as well. I'm here with Joan. <laughs> Joan is part of our crew for the Pacific Passage. Yay! And to, along with her husband Fernando and Ray, who you guys will meet later. But right now we are going to do a bit of provisioning. Hopefully we'll get a good chunk done. We're walking up the, the gangplank. <laughs> so you'll come along for the ride to see what it's like to provision for the Pacific Ocean crossing. Panama and this is right outside the city it is a market like with three airplane hangers full of fruits and vegetables that are grown in Panama because Chiriqui is like three hours from here and they grow all the fruits and vegetables for the entire country so it should be cool Wow looks great Wow Look at the celery. That's so nice. Nice huh? Yeah, it looks great. Great. Hello. It's not the same. Yeah, it looks like. So I guess we should start asking prices and stuff. Hello. <laughs> and I don't understand why this stuff doesn't make it to the grocery store. <laughs> we need onions, garlic, potatoes. Uh, carrots. carrots, cabbage, uh, some peppers. Yeah, peppers for sure. Potatoes are 90 cents a pound. Onions, okay. How long will it take to go outside? Like a week. A week, yeah. And how much is it? 50 cents a pound. Okay. Yeah. Flavor of celery. It's so beautiful. Wow. You should probably get four of these. They don't last that long. We have one at home. We have two at home. Oh, we have two. Ooh. We make a soup of that. Yeah, and then, yeah. I think four. Yeah, because, right, they're not going to last. They, they, or you can, yeah, like you guys, we've seen the coleslaw. We have to try the coleslaw. We love oh. the coleslaw. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. The carrots are 70 cents a pound. For all of us? Okay. Is this? Uh, okay. 
there's a place where they have all oil and I don't know what else, but we're getting oil. I learned about this market from the Panama Cruisers Facebook group and was so impressed with the variety and quality of produce available. We have potatoes. It's like the same thing. Look at all the corn. The birds and the corn. <laughs> we have lots of pineapples. Okay. And which one? How do you? Como 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 es? Entonces como es? Sí, pero cuál es bueno, cuál no es? Están maduros. Los que están maduros son los que están más bien maduros. Oh, okay. Sí, perfecto. We couldn't find oil, so we went outside across the way in search of fruit. We learned the fruit from the vendors inside has been sprayed with the substance to make them ripen faster, while that outside supposedly had not been sprayed. Satisfied with our haul, we piled into the car and headed to our next stop. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Right, and now we're at Price Smart. It's kind of like a Costco where you get a membership. Supposedly you can cancel it within 30 days if you want. So we'll see. We confirmed the account could be canceled within 30 days and paid the $30 membership fee. Okay, so meats. It's just like a Costco. Ribeye. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> Thighs without skin but with the bone is like uh, four fifty a pound. So like Florida. Parmesan cheese. Uh, yeah. Parme Parmigino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind of parmigiano. Kind of parmigiano. <laughs> we proceeded to fill up on snacks for the crew, essentials like peanut butter, coffee, and other canned and dry items. Oh, so that was 500 bucks. We'll total everything at the end so we see how much it costs us. This is going to be a tight one. Ooh. We did it. All right. Oh, wow. Plenty of space. Oops. <laughs> We hired this driver for the day instead of having to call Ubers every time we needed a ride. Since the car was clearly full, we headed back to the marina to unload. Back at the marina and I'm stuck. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> bye bye anchor chain, how we sold it. And oh, we're gonna need the card again. Maybe. First step is to get everything on the boat, but keep it outside so we can remove all the cardboard and labels so unwanted critters don't make it inside the boat. This is round two of shopping at Price Mart. We, we ran out of the space in the car yesterday, so we had to come back and we found out that the prices for the chicken and pork are per kilo, not pound. So the prices were actually good. So we got some chicken and pork today. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. Here we have Ray and Fernando. <laughs> we are servicing the last part of the engines today. They are. I'm just watching. 
uh, changing the <laughs> impellers and changing the uh, exhaust elbow, right? The mixing elbow. Okay. Mixing elbow. Yeah, mixing. we're going to inspect it, make sure that it's not corroded. Yeah, we're not going to change, just inspect it. First step is to remove the impeller. This is a used one, but uh, no cracks, still looks serviceable, great emergency spare. So we'll put the new one in, but we got a good one just in case something happens. Awesome. So what we're doing here is just making it a little easier to put this in because this has uh, some um, spline type design to it. It's a little dip more difficult to get in. So we just use a, a couple of zip ties. You lubricate the impeller with glycerin and as you push it in place, the zip ties slide out. Next, onto the mixing elbow. So we've removed the mixing elbow on the engine. We've inspected the metal gasket, very little coking, and so it's good to go. Yesterday, after our big shopping trip, we spent a whole bunch of time Chopping, Joan was a machine. <laughs> and so we got our veggies all prepped up. We've got uh, some cabbage here that was all washed. The tomatoes, those will go quick. But um, these she, are green onions. Yeah. Green. Yeah. And then this is all parsley. We had the huge. So we got three, yep. three bags of parsley awesome. all ready to freeze. These are our celery. Yeah. They're done like pickles, sort of like with uh, vinegar. Some fresh for use now. That's Some, the chard. That's, yep, Swiss chard that got um, steamed. Yummy minestrone soup. Yep. And then Kristen made her famous <laughs> yogurt. That's a big rejection, but it tastes amazing. Um, we still have some peppers to prep up and they're going to get pickled or something. Yep. Very yummy. Um, yeah. Then we got our fruit over here. These pumpkins live out here. The pineapples, uh, maracuya, our passion fruit. And these are java apples. Yeah, those are, we're kind of still on the fence. We're looking those. for a recipe for that. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, there's there's still lots to be done. And the eggs are living over here. This oh, is okay. actually super handy, these crates, and got them for easy access. There's yeah. the potatoes. So the other thing we do is a lot of vacuum packing before this passage. We vacuum pack some flour, even just in their bags. So if there are any critters, they don't get out. And also the rice, we're breaking it up into smaller bags and vacuum packing that. And there we go, nice and safe. What's going on this morning, Bob? Pre-cooking some chicken, sous vide, to have it ready for the passage. You just take it out and warm it up. Awesome, so we don't have to cook as much, right? Correct. And then we can make some chicken salad. Dump the kai. Oh yeah. We are doing it in plastic, but that's because we put it directly in the freezer and then we can actually wash out the bags and reuse them. All right, this is the third time we're trying to get Yoda's leash maniosis test. We're here at Vets for Pets, and apparently they have the right test, so fingers crossed, third time's a charm, right? Yes. The two prior tests ended up being rapid tests that are not accepted by French Polynesia. How you feeling, Yodi? <laughs> All right, so we have a letter from the vet that says that it was the ELISA test for leishmaniasis. I will never be able to say that word. <laughs> and then it was negative, so I just sent it off to the vet in French Polynesia. So fingers crossed, everything's good to go. What do you think? No more vets, huh? Oh my God. All right, Fab, what's going on this morning? So we got a new chain. It's a Aqua 7, which is G70 strength from, uh, from Maggi, a company in Italy that uh, has more strength than the 10 millimeter that we had before. It's about 7,000 kilograms, which is you know, 14,000 pounds roughly. Oh, wow. And um, it's uh, supposedly very good. And one other c 600 has had it on board for a year and they're liking it. So we saved some weight and because we had to increase the length going to the Pacific. We had 200 feet, we're going to 300 feet. Save some weight, add some length. Right now we have to change the Gypsy to, the, uh, to our windlass because we have a Gypsy for 10 millimeters. So. 
A huge thank you to our patrons. We are so grateful for your support. If you'd like additional content and real-time updates, consider joining the Harbors Unknown community on Patreon. Do you guys remember this? Snap ring flyer? <laughs> and I lost the screw. That's yep. it. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's a funny one. So the chain, let's, let's all look at it so we don't screw up. <laughs> so basically, is this end, are you going starting? Inside. This is the part that's going to get tied inside the anchor locker. I can go like this and then like this, correct? Yeah. That looks right, yeah. Perfect. Okay, good. Yeah, we're going to go tie it inside there now okay. before we feed it. Fernando is the limberest. Oh one. yeah, Fernando, you volunteered. <laughs> Unless you want to get a shot. I don't fit in there. I never No, I don't think. Limber. I think I'm the light. I'm the, I'm the skinniest one here. I, in, in, ah. in, in the nicest terms. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Uh, look. <laughs> this bag. Two, but there were two. So. Well, now it's the moment of true. No oh boy. So now if I pull, if I go in, it should fit in, but we want to tie it first. Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I can get in. Perfect. Okay. When you're misbehaving, thrown in the hole. <laughs> you draw the, sh the short straw today, huh? Yeah. For the crew quarters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can come out. Nice work. Nicely, handsomely done. Before we headed out to the anchorage, we needed to complete one imperative step, install our new anchor. We fueled up first because it was going to be much easier with the bow of the boat pointed at the dock instead of trying to install it from the dinghy. Today is the day that we're getting off the dock and we're going out at anchor to wait for weather for the passage. And so we just fueled, uh, we came to the fuel dock to fuel up just to top off and then to fill up our jerry cans. We're taking eight jerry cans with us for additional fuel. And also because we heard there are places in Polynesia where they don't have fuel docks. So you have to take the dinghy to uh, and bring your jerry cans to shore to get diesel. And then that's how you fill up your boat. Forward. We're gonna tie this side. Dude, that's the stern you 
Okay. With the boat tied up, the guys got to work since the marina said we had to be out of the slip by 1 p.m. So this was the this? Yes. Yeah. We're going to go with the red instead of the blue. So you can't take it out. Well, you are strong. If you can snap that, you are in good shape, buddy. I am not. Okay. Right. So we've got a tag. Yeah. This goes here, right? Right. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. We purchased the 77 pound Ultra Anchor to replace the Delta that came with the boat. We dragged a number of times with the Delta, it didn't set in mud, and we'd heard it has a hard time resetting with 180 degree wind swings. And after watching a number of reviews, we decided it was the best option for us. Perfect. I'll tighten you like that chain on that gypsy. Perfect at like this. When it stopped by itself, so okay. we're good. Let's get on board and take this off and you can block us. We are off the dock. Yes. I'm not saying anything else though. Please. <laughs> okay, check me on uh, starboard please center. We're out of the marina. You wanna take it, huh? Fabio dropped the anchor and it set like a charm. We could feel it grab right away. 